Before I start this video, let me take 30 seconds to tell you something about Exergic. Exergic is India's most trusted and most experienced institute for online gate preparation. I am Chandresh Mahajan, founder and chief educator at Exergic. I am an All India Rank 37 in gate mechanical engineering, an ex Indian oil officer having 7 plus years of teaching experience as of now. These are the GATE 2021 Mechanical Engineering Toppers from Exergic. You can find their preparation strategy on Exergic's website. To know more about our GATE courses, you can visit our website or contact us on these details. Also, you can download Exergic GATE preparation app from Google Play Store. The link is available in the description of video. Hello dear students, so we know that the official uh, notification and the information brochure for GATE 2022 is out now. The organizing institute, the organizing IIT is IIT Khadakpur and in this uh, video we are quickly going to see what are the important points of this uh, GATE 2022 and how is it different or similar to GATE 2021. In this video I am not going to tell each and every detail that the exam will be of 3 hours and there will be 65 questions all these things are known to us so I am not going to touch upon that and save your time I will be just sharing the important points that you should know and how it is different from the last year's gate let's quickly start the first point is a quick recap and the recap is regarding MSQs it is clearly written in the types of question that MCQ it's fixed it's going to be there the other type is multiple selected questions and or or it is written and or or NAT questions right now this is not something which is new in gate 2022 this was already there in gate 2021 but this was the detail to which you should pay attention which means that it is possible that there will not be any MSQ it is possible because it says there will be MSQs and NAT or MSQ or NAT means either you can have both or you can have any of them also. So as we saw in GATE 2021 that uh, in some branches in some uh, papers I mean forenoon and afternoon there were no MSQs at all. So that is something which is probable this year also does not mean that you should totally ignore that and uh, you know uh, don't practice and uh, don't think about that don't plan about that you must do that because it can be asked as we already know. I would quickly uh, like to touch these two points again which were which were the most asked questions last year. The point says that MSQ carrying one or two marks each in all the paper uh, in sections these questions are objective in nature means they will be having four options and each will have choice of four answers out of which one or more than one choice is or are correct one can also be correct this is something that many students asked this question last time so in MSQ it is possible that one question is one option is correct it's just a clarification here and there is no negative marking for wrong answer in MSQ also just like NAT however there is no partial credit for choosing partially correct combination this is also uh, you know was frequently asked last year that out of four options if two were correct and if I picked one if I selected one will I get partial marks no you will not get any marks you will get zero marks if you were incorrect or you partially uh, made the correct selections right it was a quick recap one more quick recap regarding the mathematics this is something that I have received from students over email the weightage of maths is 13 marks and not 15 again this is not something which has been changed it was 13 marks in gate 2021 as well but still I have seen some of the students uh, you know last year mailed me about this so yes it is 13 marks in gate 2022 as well moving on to see some of the important points of gate 2021 and changes in that so this is the uh, examination schedule and these are the important dates that you can see Online application process for GATE will start on 30th of August, alright, about, there is about a month from now on. The closing date for regular online registration process, it is written there. End of extended period for online registration, not important that much, you should try to fill it in the first one only. 
again you can read last date of change of category and all admit card will be available to download by 3rd of january 2022 so there's a lot of time in that obviously this is something that you should pay attention to which is one of the most crucial things in this that gate 2022 examination will be held on four days right unlike gate 2021 gate 2021 was held on six different days on 5th feb 6th feb 7th feb uh, feb 12th feb 13th feb and 14th feb also but this time gate 2022 is being conducted only on four days 14th feb uh, there's no gate so you can enjoy <laughs> your valentine's day if applicable uh, announcement of the result in the online application portal is going to be on the 17th march it generally comes a couple of days earlier than the scheduled date so this is regarding the important dates so this is an important note from the point of view of covid which was in gate 2021 as well and it is there in gate 2022 as well that due to the uncertainty of the covid right we cannot predict what's going to be the situation like in february 2022 there are chances of rescheduling the exam obviously they won't reschedule it before they will postpone it right Chances are less because uh, cases will be controlled by then, vaccinations will be, uh, you know, done to a great extent. But still, it is a note that you should keep in mind. Now, again, there are addition of two new papers in GATE 2022. GATE 2021 also had additions of two new paper. GATE 2022 also has two new addition. First one is Geomatics Engineering and Naval Architecture and Marine Engineering. Now, I would like to clear one thing at this point of time. Many students uh, think that new paper addition means it is something that they have to cover. For example, a mechanical engineering student does not have to necessarily prepare for them. Its paper means its separate branch. Just like you appear for mechanical, some of the students appear for civil, some of, the, some of them appear for computer science. So, in a very similar way. This so, in a similar way, geomatics engineering and naval architecture and marine engineering are also added. Now, in few minutes, we will see that how these are going to slightly, may slightly modify your gate plan. Have a look. Yes, eligibility for gate 2022 as well. Third year students are eligible. If you recall, third year students were not eligible in gate 2022 or gate 2019. But from gate 2021, the eligibility of third year started after a long time and it is continued in gate 2022 as well. So if you are in third year, studying in third year in uh, any undergraduate degree program or already has completed obviously your uh, degree, then you can appear for this gate 2022. Now, syllabus update for gate 2022 is something that is not there as far as mechanical engineering is concerned because I teach for mechanical engineering so I have thoroughly checked it there is no addition uh, no reduction from the syllabus of mechanical engineering you can check in your respective branch also one point I would like to add here last year there was major uh, major means what comparatively major reshuffling in the syllabus right gate 2022 for, for gate 2021 but there is one point which I would like to clarify here, which some of you might have missed last year. There were certain terms or certain names or the syllabus or the topics which were removed from the syllabus. right? But many students thought that now they are not in the syllabus. Let me clarify that it is not like that. If you will look at the syllabus of gate 2022 also, it is exactly the replica of gate 2021. But certain topics which you will find in gate 2020 syllabus, which were missing in gate 2021 syllabus, does not mean they are removed. Those topics which were mentioned were subtopics anyway. If there is topic A and B, C and D are subtopics. So earlier in syllabus A and D both were mentioned. I am talking about gate 2019 and gate 2020. But in gate 2021, this topic obviously which is a subtopic of A was not uh, explicitly mentioned but it does not mean that it is removed right whatever you are not able to see may be a subtopic of uh, something that you can see in the syllabus. So there were some topics which students thought are removed now as per my opinion those topics are so basic they cannot be removed obviously. So 
nothing is removed from the syllabus, nothing was removed from the syllabus. So, it's one clarity that you must have. Moving ahead, two papers are allowed in GATE 2022 also and these are the combinations in front of you. Let me take two minutes to explain this. This is the primary code, right? Primary exam. Out of two exams that you can write, two papers you can select. One is going to be primary that you have to select and based upon what is your primary exam, there will be certain secondary options, secondary paper options available to you. So this is the primary here and this is the secondary for that or second paper for that. Again, this is the primary and this is the secondary for these choices. So this table which you can see in front of you is actually this table and then this table. This one is going to come below this one. So it's not a long, it is not a long cell obviously. It is not a long row obviously. This one belongs to this, this one belongs to this. Now, there are important points here that since two uh, new papers were introduced, so clearly they are going to appear somewhere here, right, in the secondary paper of some branches of some papers. In addition to that, there have been some more additions in the secondary paper that you can attempt. If you compare it with GATE 2021, you will clearly be able to see it. I have highlighted six uh, main branches for which there have been changes. So let me start in the alphabetical order. The civil engineering in GATE 2021 was having only AR and ES, but now GE, which is I think geomatics engineering, which was added, which is added in 2022 is also there. And AE is also there. It's I think aerospace engineering and NM is also there, which is uh, naval architecture and marine engineering. Coming to computer science, only MA maths was there. But right now, as I can see, that EC is a notable addition in computer science. Other than that, GE and ST is also added. Coming to EC, as I can see from the uh, GATE 2021 status, IN and PH, only these two were available as secondary paper. But now, electrical, computer science and GE, these three are also added, which again is a notable addition for them. Similarly, for electrical also, last time only IN was their instrumentation, but now EC has also been added. Coming to the mechanical branch which I teach, earlier only XE was there I think. Let me confirm once. Yes, only XE was there but now notable addition is PI and other than that aerospace engineering, chemical engineering and naval architecture and marine engineering. These are also added. So four new branches have been added. Again added does not mean that you have to prepare for them. I would like to clarify this for those who are appearing for the gate first time. It means that other than the first subject that you have selected, one more subject you can select and that one can be either of these. Obviously, both of the exams will be conducted on separate days, you will get separate scorecard, everything will be separate for them other than paying the fees that has to be done collectively. Coming to PI branch, production and industrial engineering, this is again a branch where many of my students are preparing. So for that only XE, environmental science was there for GATE 2021, but major addition I would call for them is mechanical engineering, right? So if you are prepared well, I think you can definitely try for this because if you are learning from me, you are obviously having the access to cover the mechanical engineering syllabus as well. So definitely you should try for this in my personal opinion and other addition would be this MT which is metallurgical engineering. So you can clearly see that I have only covered about six uh, branches here, but almost in every branch there has been addition in the secondary paper. This opens up more opportunities for you without a doubt. So it is a good sign in my opinion. Moving ahead, the exam cities, uh, it's a minor change. There were four cities that you can select last time in the gate 2021 but now you can only select three cities does not change anything you have to appear in any given city only but if i talk about number of cities they have been slightly increased there is slight increase in the number of cities in up as well as slight increase in the number of city in the maharashtra and gujarat zone okay regarding i don't think many of you or many of the students who watch me are international students but if you are because the number of cities and in what cities gate will be conducted, international cities, there is no mention of that. Now, concluding this with the two important points, there is a section of FAQs frequently asked questions 
in the PDF. The PDF of official information brochure you can find in the description of the video. The link is available. Please go through that. Basic things like for example if you are appearing for the first time what will be the duration, how many uh, questions will be there and some very basic things regarding the scribble pad, regarding the virtual calculator and all should be known to you, right? But there are certain 50 plus FAQs that you must cover, that you must read. It will clarify majority of your doubts. Read it carefully. If you don't learn to read, you know, uh, carefully, attentively, how do you think you are able to, you will be able to, uh, you know, uh, get a good marks and good rank in gate. So must develop this habit. Another point, small point that uh, last year also there were updates in the information brochure, right? So there are chances that this information brochure will again get updated. In last uh, gate 2020, if I recall, it was updated in uh, around September, in the month of September, it was updated. So what I mean to say that this can get updated if there is any uh, update, any major update Obviously, I will tell you, but just keep in mind that that's also a small possibility. Anyway, concluding this uh, video that there are not major changes in GATE 2022, but there is one change which I will definitely call as major is the addition of more branches as a secondary paper. That's definitely a good sign uh, for many of you. Uh, so, I wish you all the best. Your preparation, the way you are conducting your preparation should not change by this. There is no major uh, announcement or major modification in the major update in the uh, schedule uh, in, in the overall process which was for GATE 2021. So I wish you all the best. Work hard. The time you may feel it's a lot of time for GATE but trust me time will fly and you will not realize. So make sure that you start preparing for sincerely preparing for GATE at least now when the notification is out. All the best.